Hello everyone. So in this video, let's explore some more functions that can be used for navigation in Flutter. So the name of function is push name and remove until. Let's see how can we code this. You have to write navigator dot of context dot push name and remove until. And inside the brackets, the name of the screen that you want to push. In this case, it is screen four. And then write route dynamic route which implies false. Now this means that in case you have multiple screens in your stack already present, this function will make sure that all of that is popped out, and then screen four is pushed. So say for example you have screen one, two, and three in your stack, and you apply this function, then route dynamic false will pop screen three, two, and one out of the stack, and then push screen four. Now when can this be used? So say suppose a user is opened an application. Gone through the dashboard page and the multiple screens, entered his or her data, and explored every page of the application, and then go to the logout page and pressed logged out. Now, in that case, when the user is logged out, we don't want the user to go to the previous page or the dashboard page when they press the back button of your phone. So we can use this function to make sure that only the logout page is pressed or is pushed to the screen. And all the rest of the pages or the routes are popped out, and you can use this function and write route dynamic route false so that all the dashboard pages and the previous pages are popped out. Now there's another way to write this function. So now, in case you don't want all the screens to get popped out, you can write module route dot with name, and inside that the name of the screen until which you want all the screens to get popped out. So, in case you have screen one, two, and three, and you use this function to push screen four and pop out all the screens until one, the screen three and screen two will get popped out of the stack, and now screen four will be visible to the user. Now, when can this be used? So, say suppose you have a payment gateway in your application, and the user makes some payment. So, all you want to display him is a screen which says the payment is now complete. We can save that screen to be screen four. Now you don't want the user to go back to making payments again when they are pressing the back button of their phone. So we can pop out all of that payment gateway and make them as screen three and screen two. And screen four is basically the page which shows that the payment is now complete. And screen one can be any dashboard page which is not related to the payment. So this will not disrupt any flow of the application. So this was all about navigation in Flutter. Thank you.